What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angel Altieri if this is your first time here and welcome to the video. Um, I'm filming this now because I deleted the footage of me filming the intro and the outro. Um, but today I'm doing a lipstick declutter. Usually my lipsticks are right there. But here I have them. Just to show you up close how I store them. It's still quite full, but this was super full. I couldn't fit anything in there. Like stuff was um, spilling out. So I wanted to do a declutter. I'm not necessarily doing a declutter series or a full declutter of my entire collection. Um, but my lipsticks definitely needed some attending to. Some brands that I'm not supporting at the moment, Jeffree Star Cosmetic. I'm not a fan of KKW Beauty. Kylie, she she's kind of shaky. She's shaky right now. So, um, well, Kylie Cosmetics is kind of shaky right now. So, but those are brands that I'm not supporting on my channel. So, oh, Morphe. Mm, Morphe to me, you know, they had the opportunity opportunity early on to just cut ties with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, they took a little long to make that decision. Their products are, Jeffree Star products are still on their site. I don't know what their contract entails or how all that works on the business end where the products are still being sold and it's taking a long time for them to get rid of the products. I don't know, but we'll see about Morphe. We'll see. I'm monitoring that situation. All the products that I get rid of, some of them are very old, and I show you the products that I'm throwing out, but there are products that are good enough to be sold or given away, and the majority of what I gave away, I already gave away. I have a cousin from DR who's here, and whenever she comes or her sister comes, I, I declutter because it's the perfect chance to give them some... I guess new makeup to them it's new to them not new to me but um they don't have access to a lot of the makeup stores or makeup brands that we have access to in the states so it's a really good opportunity to give them some products that they'll enjoy and they'll use but yeah there probably won't be a formal outro for this video so I'll say it now be sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification if you feel the froggy i post every thursday and sunday um so keep a lookout for my future uploads thank you so much for watching and you know the deal you know the drill you know the vibes let's get it into the declutter okay guys so let's start with uh, um i guess like liquid lip that's not a liquid lip that's not a liquid lip here we here we are here we are there's more liquid lips oh man okay there they are liquid lips um, let me get one wipey ready. So here we have Jeffree Star. Um, I don't support Jeffree Star cosmetics anymore. These are colors I probably wouldn't wear anyway. This was a limited edition Jeffree Star lipstick, the question mark lipstick from last summer, I believe. Um, it's too pink for me, so I probably wouldn't wear it anyway. I'm going to get rid of these products. Um, this KKW. Um, yeah, no. There are some Kylie KKW products that I might try to keep because I actually wear them or they're special in my collection. I actually use them. Not frequently, but I do use them. I don't use this. I've had this since, what, freshman year of college. I really like it, but I don't use it. And she's supporting her husband to be president. Not a fan. This could go. Um, what's next? Morphe. 
<sighs> okay, this is hard for me. Um, okay, this is the Morphe liquid lipstick in Taunt. Not a lie. In True Story. I always get that wrong. I also don't support Morphe because they refuse to get rid of Jeffree Star Cosmetics, even though he has a lot of allegations out there. I just don't support that. So, yeah, I'm trying not to support the brand, but I recently, recently, recently got this. So I just want to hold on to it for a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I won't be using that product like on my channel to promote it. I'll probably use it on my own time, if that. Uh, anything else that I'm like, this can go. Oh, we have some Kylie. This is Kylie Cosmetics Heat Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Uh, that can go. This is very similar to what this is Ofra Miami Fever. Uh, they're different, but yeah, I'm not supporting Kylie and I don't use it enough, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna keep being the Ofra over here and it's also very similar to this smashbox lipstick that kind of lipstick is a pretty color don't keep it don't keep it oh this is smashbox out loud but it's kind of dry so i'm gonna throw that out i'm also throwing this out it's old um oh and then this kylie red velvet i actually do use this when i need a red lip so going to keep I'm going to keep that one until I replace it with my Sephora number one cream lip stain once I do that I'll probably get rid of this but that's a keep for now um, I have another red this is for a cream lip stain in 16 it's a very strawberry red you gotta get variations you know what I mean keeping this and I have a limited edition Colourpop Lucky Star this is in collaboration with Kathleen Lights another hmm that's a very very strawberry pinky tone red so pretty keeping that also in that collection Little Star I don't know if I ever used this. Pretty sure I have. It's very deep brownie mauvey tone. I like that. Keeping that. And then this well this is a gloss. This is a toll. I don't know if that's how you say it. This is in lip this is not a liquid lipstick. It's a gloss, but I added displayed as this set. And this is another gloss in nightlight very very unique color very pretty I need to use those glosses more so I'm keeping that I have this color pop ultra blotted lip this is halo effect I think it's like a peachy pinky yeah I quite like that I'm gonna keep that Am I getting rid of anything? <laughs> and right here I have this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Nudist. I used to have this, don't know where it went. I used to also have Cowboy, don't know where that went. But I just recently purchased this. Nice nude color, very matte, very long wearing. Very, a little bit dry, but I really like that. And I just recently purchased have this Laura Lee Los Angeles Jaybird. This is very, this is very dry in my opinion and that's just not a color I'm reaching for. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this. What else? I have this L'Oreal Rouge Signature in I Am Power. Very interesting formula, very nice. I'm going to keep that. Keeping quite a lot, am I not? <laughs> oh, this was from 
Hola Neon. I got this in a boxy charm. This was super drying. I don't need to really swatch it, but I am. Such a pretty color, really, but it's so drying. I don't need that. I don't need that energy in my life. When I say drying, it was like ridiculously drying. Um, that's a gloss. It's also kind of a gloss. And that's a gloss. Let me see if I do all the mattes together. This is a NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in Low Rider. So pretty. So, so pretty. I really like this formula as well. And that's a stunning color. It's not something I would typically wear, but really nice color. Keep that. Then this is a Bare Minerals Gen Nude in Weekend. I've had this literally since the day I graduated high school. So pretty. And it smells good still, so keeping that. Literally I bought this at Sephora the day I got my makeup done for my graduation. And this is Joseph Colors Extra Saucy Matte Liquid Lipstick. Hmm, do I need this? Do I need that? Do I need that? smells interesting. Do I need that? Do I need that? Do I need it? Do I? Nah, I don't need that. Let me get rid of that. I forgot these three liquid lipstick from Too Faced from their holiday collection I think a year or two ago. This is Cinnamon Bear, which I don't really use that much. A very deep red. Pumpkin pie. These smell like they're what they're named after named after very pretty nude this is root beer float oh no this is hot butter rum i lied it's so pretty these are such pretty nudes great formula too and this is sugar cookie so nude so pretty so keeping all of those, those are really nice on my display. Now we can get into, oh, I had another liquid lipstick. This is Babe Alert from Smashbox. That's pretty, keeping that. <laughs> Anything else? Is this a liquid lipstick? This is NYX Whipped Lipstick and Coco? Coco bean? I really like this. I don't really use this anymore, but... <sighs> it's like such a pretty nude, keeping that. I'm trying to smell if it's expired, but I can't really tell. Because, you know, when things start smelling bad that's why you know it's expired but i'm having a lot of smells right now so i can't tell but let's get into bullets bullet lipsticks jeez oh jeez anything oh I want to get rid of this this is Too Faced peachy mats and where's my peaches at um I just don't look good in very orangey lipsticks I'm very neutral tone and just doesn't go well with my complexion so I'm getting rid of that oh Jeffree Star allegedly goodbye what else oh KKW what is this new 2.5 goodbye um, okay, and then oh, I'm gonna get rid of this. This is a Zoya lipstick. It's just, it's just old. I'll swatch it, but like it's just old, and 
I have the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment if I want something um, bright. This is also old Jordana Frappuccino. Old. It's dry. I used to use this a lot, but it could go away now. Be thrown out. Anything else that like, I could... No. Um, something similar is the ColourPop Libby Pencil in Taurus. I am a Taurus, so I'm keeping that. It's Fenty Mademoiselle in single and single I don't really use this much but I am keeping that what else oh I one of my favorite lipsticks Sephora cream rouge lacquer and fearless one of my favorite <gasps> so juicy so glossy very similar to in formula and in pricing where is it Oh, this Physician's Formula Butter Lipstick. This is a shade. Soaking up the sun. Very similar in formula and price. So, giving this also. Other similar... Oh, I'm getting so hot. Other similar products. Tarte Lip Quench. This is in the shade Nude. Very sheer. I really like these. I just throw these in my purse. And this is in the shade Holly. This is a little bit more pinky toned. Really, really like these. Super hydrating on the lips. As is this product, Sephora. Sephora. This is L'Oreal Watermelon Plump. Very, very similar formula. I don't feel that these really plump anything but really nice nevertheless some more similar products this is old this is a l'oreal color reach balm in caramel comfort i really really like this so i'm just gonna keep that for now i actually need to use it maybe i'll declutter it next time this is a flower beauty lip balm i'm just gonna throw that out because i don't use it i'm pretty old it's almost used up anyway um what else okay so then i have this maybelline honey pink matte lipstick uh, do i need no I'll get rid of this might have to throw that out it's gonna be old sephora sephora what are you saying sephora this is elf cream like satin lipstick really light pretty nude very very sheer but this is new and I like it. This is Sephora Beautifully Bare lipstick in nude. This is more coverage than the other one. Nice nude. I like that. Keeping neat. I may never regret lipstick lip vibes. Really, really like that. It's not the most like long lasting, but really like that color and then color pop we have ariel lipstick oh yep thank you i'm keeping all these little color pop ones because i love it this is dr facilier it's a little bit of a deeper nude i love princess on the frog this is hades And this is better off. Very bright color. Not bright, but rosy, burnt. I like that. Keeping those. Then I have Pat McGrath the minis. This is flush three. Keeping all of these. Very deep color. Oh, I like to keep these on display. This is Omi. Oh my, oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. These are very like cool toned, purple toned nudes. And this is 1993. 
1995. Is anyone born in 1995? Comment down below. It's the lightest one. Keeping these. I put those on display. And I have some final lipsticks in here that just look nice. Yes, I have Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. We'll get into that. First I have these Essence. What are they? Velvet Matte Lipsticks. This is in the shade 2 Marshmallow. Whatever that means. Very pinky. I recently got these. So. It's number 2. This is number 1. Donuts Go Nut. I've, this is my first time reading the names of these. It's pretty nude. It's number one. And number three is Dusty Romance. A nice mauve tone. Keeping all three of those. Just recently got them. Here I have some Kylie. I'm going to keep these for display and I do use these. This is in the shade Madeline. This is in the shade Dulce de Leche. My favorite shade. I do use this. I just won't use these on my channel. I'll use it on my own time. And this is Troublemaker. The deepest one I have. So keeping those. And I like to have it in threes. So just matches up. Then my Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. Mine are completely fine. So I've kept them. This is Gossip. My favorite one. Even though I feel like it's a little too yellow on me. But whatever. Ugh. This is Tipsy. Can you see that right there? She does have a really good formula, I can't lie. And I guess technically these are free because it was refunded, but mine are completely fine. This is Hot Toddy. I'm keeping that. Also. I actually decided to get rid of this cinnamon bear from Too Faced because I don't need it. Now we're getting into glossy formulas. Um, off the bat, I'm getting rid of this ABH. I'm very disappointed in the way they treat influencers um, and people in business transactions. So, not going to promote their products either. And I don't use this, so it's no loss for me. Anyone else? Hello? No? That's it? Um, I think I'm keeping all of these. I'm going to get rid of this Saint Laurent gloss. I just don't use it. It's pretty and pigmented. I just don't use it. So that's going to go. Zanara's Velvet Lip Glide. That's pretty. Hmm. I'm actually going to get rid of this. I don't really use it. I don't care for it. It is Ooh, Marc Jacobs. You already know. Keeping this sugar, sugar. Yes, yes, yeah, sugar. Very similar to White Russian, which I've had for probably way too long, but I'm going to keep it until I finish. It still smells really good. Oh my god, these smell so good. This is Buxom White Russian. Love it. This Patrick Ta gloss and she's expensive. Yes, because she's expensive. Super pretty. Diamondy glossy. Love it. My 
fave, this is one of my favorite products ever, Sephora Cream Lip Shine in the shade 1. Guys, go get this please. Please go get this. So good. So, so good. Love it. And they smell so good. I love the way these Sephora lip products smell. This is a Sephora. So from what I keep saying, everything is Sephora. Oh my god, this is Tarte. A Dazzle Gloss Hidden Talents. I didn't think I would like this. I got this in BoxyCharm, but this is a very pretty, unique gloss. So I'm keeping that for now. I have this clear gloss from Estee Lauder. It smells like bubble gum. Oh my god, it smells like gum gumballs. It's just a clear gloss. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping it for the smell alone. This, I'm not gonna swatch this because it's gonna burn me. Uh, Too Faced Lip Injections Extreme, keeping that. Um, I really like this Milani gloss, lip plumping gloss in champagne. Very pretty nude. Yes, yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, sorry, that's a crack. I'm wearing this on my lips today. Artist Couture Uncensored. Very pigmented gloss. Quite pigmented. And nude. I really like that. Here we have, actually, my Fenties. My favorite gloss formulas on the planet. The best smells are from these. But these are like classic. This is Fenty Beauty Universal Gloss Bomb. So like the first, very first launch. This is from the very first launch, so might be expired, but still smells good. So giving that. And this is Fussy. Really, really love this one. Also, these used to live in my purse. Like I used to alternate. Really love these. They do smell really good, but I just love the cupcake smell on these this would be my second favorite because i'm allergic to them this is dami cosmetics lemonade gloss i think this is strawberry lemonade very pretty pink nice and sheer but does give some color i love the smell it smells so so good it smells like cupcakes and this is sweet tea so good i love these but my favorite gloss will have to go to this lunar beauty mini mu yes. this is moon i did get all these glosses in a set i bought his um moon prism blush collection it's moon nice and nude see so yeah, i did buy the whole collection and i'm so happy i did because i love everything this is celine I think this might be my favorite can you see it no can you see here it is a nice pretty glittery color right there so pretty Oof. look at that juiciness Ooh, juicy it smells so good and this is the shade starlight or star Keyser? starlight so so pretty it's like if they were Fenty, Starlight, and Fussy, then Celine and um, Universal. Not exactly the same, but very similar. I do have, I do have Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk. Definitely not my favorite whatsoever, because it does go very icy and cool tone. Like, can you, can you? You even see that. Let's see everybody here. You can see it there. Very silver blue toned. Uh, not the best. Let me get my other one. My last, my last glossy formula is the Tarte Sugarous Fresh Pressed Lip Oil. I wear this all the time. I'm actually like starting to run out. Where do I swatch this? Right here. You won't really see anything. It's just oily, glossy. Using this up, it smells so good. It smells like um, fresh pop. 
So let's count what I got rid of. Let's go, th go through what I'm throwing out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just because these are very, very old. So those are nine. that's 19 things in total getting rid of let me know what you think of the declutter because some people i'm like you barely decluttered anything why did you film it and some people i'm like they went savage a little too savage let me know comment down below what you think on how i did but i want to know your opinion on how well i did thank you so 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 much for watching and i hope to catch you in the next one